Hello people, and welcome back to some more Metroid Prime 2 Echoes with Rubberlink. Hello. So, we're nearly- we're nearing the final stretch of the game. Not sure if we'll finish it this episode or not, but we're definitely getting close. Indeed. We have one final key to obtain. Oh, there are dark wasps here now. Still died in one missile. Ooh, is that a thing? Sorry, what? Is up there? Okay, no, I guess not. That was a tunnel we went through to access where the seeker launcher was. Oh, really? Yep. Hmm. And we needed the boost ball to get across the thing above here. Wait, I thought the seeker launcher was in um, Torvus. No, the seeker launcher is something we needed in Torvus that we had to backtrack all the way here just to get. Oh. Okay. Ah, screw you guys. Ouch. Ouch. Stop at me. Jeez. Now, I'm curious. Did I get all of the Luminoth lore? Because I think I've explored everywhere. Let me check real quick. Lore. Luminoth lore. Yeah, I guess not. That's going to bother me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might need to look where that is. Oh well. Alrighty. Dark Aether. It is time to find the final key. Indeed. This should attract you, right? Yep. Come on. Welcome to Oblivion. Wait, didn't we just do this one? No, there's one for... Or there's something under each... Whoops. Each elevator that would lead to the Great Temple on Aether. Ah, uh, okay. And here we are, the final missile expansion. One hundred percent of all pickups acquired. Dun 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 dun. I think you put an extra note in there or something. I think I did. Da 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 da. -da. I'm used to the one that's from the GBA version of Final Fantasy 1 and 2 where it goes afterwards it's da 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 I'm probably off key and whatever but sorry they get the picture ouch stop poking me I'm just All right, so this should be the dark room counterpart to where our ship was, and there was uh, the Luminoth fallen, there. yeah, the fallen Luminoth there. So somewhere in here, yep, there he is. Guess I'll get rid of you first. Actually, come get me. Thank you. Pretty light. <laughs> Wow. I was gonna make an hour for you, but okay. Impatient. <laughs> All right. Final key. Here we come. Sky temple key acquired. All Sky Temple keys found. 
Use them at the temple to gain entry. Let's -a go. I would ask if there's anything behind the uh, other door in this room, but since we already got every item. You mean this door? Yeah. Well, it's where we're going. Oh, okay. Open up. Oh. It would help if the lock-on actually... Locked on? Yeah. That's the lock-on. Weird. Yeah, it's not quite efficient or anything. Can you just screw attack? Uh... It's a bit narrow in here, I don't know. Hmm. Wait, what's this? So this is below, I guess, the Sky Temple. And I think this is the final testament. Oh. And this is, I think, for the key that they already acquired. And I think that's why there's ten keys. And we only oh. have to find nine. Oh, it is the key room. Yeah. A cool's testament. Soon I shall pass to final rest. My key is in place. Through my spiritual link to the others, I know where their bodies lie. I shall leave this knowledge that their last location in dark in the dark world can be known. May this knowledge lead our warriors to the Sky Temple. The time draws near. Hear the words of a cool. She they call champion of aether okay there's a female sorry there's a deep voice <laughs> know that my warriors fought and died with uncommon valor do not look unkindly upon their failure for they died to save us all yep and that's their key huh. the key of a cull has been placed its lock forever open May the light of Aether shine upon our enemies forever. Hmm. So I guess we don't need to read all of these, but... These are basically hints, kind of like uh, in the first Metroid Prime. Yeah, it's probably going to mention all their names. Hmm. So maybe this was the missing lore that... I was I was worried I had just missed one of those hollow projectors somewhere. So Bastille is the female. Cause or was it another one I was thinking where it's like the the pair? There was like be still and just still or something like that. Yeah, you're right. Issel. Well, no, it was unless these name, unless these names are just oh, still okay. Just still, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. So is that it? I guess so. And was that the rest of the the lore? I have all the trooper logs. I have all the space pirate logs. So I am missing some Luminoth lore somewhere. That's annoying. Should we go back and find it or? Nah. I mean, I might do it later. 
So, like, maybe after a recording session, I'll just do it on my own and add the little bit where I find it. Okay. I assume you also probably get, like, a special end scene or something, if you I, do. I don't know. Hmm. All Sky Temple keys have been returned. You can now enter the Sky Temple. It's time for the final fight. And to claim the last of the Light of Aether. Whoop. Goodbye, Sky Temple Grounds. Hello, Sky Temple. Going up. Wait, this is the controller. Where's the energy? There it is. Let me just... Oh. Looks like they won't let it go without a fight. Well then. It's like, no, it's mine. You cannot has. Oh, nice. Save station right here. Right where I need it. Excellent. Yeah, playing this now, it's, it's kind of just like how I play any other game, but I remember when I first played it as a kid, you know, the whole darkness of the dark world and all that, it's, it was kind of scary kind of spooky back then uh-huh it really uh yeah like you could <laughs> i remember being like really paranoid that something was gonna get me when i was going through dark aether even though like now i know the game well enough that you know nothing's gonna one shot me even if it catches me off guard right but also it's like that sense of aloneness that this game gives it's really yeah. good like you were alone in the first one as well but in this one, yeah. I don't know. It is different. This is the core of the final dark energy collector. The last collection of planetary energy lies within the core. When you place it within the energy transfer module for return to Aether, this world will become heavily unstable. Okay. Uh... Down we go. And I'm already on the ground. <laughs> That's a giant puddle. Get the mop. <laughs> well, hi there. You're huge. Which means you have huge cuts. Rip and tear. I feel like I don't know that reference. It's Doom. Morphology, Emperor Ing Head. Ruler of the Ing Horde. Target will form numerous tentacles to defend itself. Eliminate them to weaken its defenses. Morphology, Emperor Ing Body, ruler of the Ing Horde. Target is drawing energy from the unstable energy controller, eliminating, <clears throat> eliminating target's connection to the energy may be an effective strategy. Wait, so which one is the ruler? The head or the body? <laughs> so could I just do this? Possibly. No. Really? You can't lock onto them then? Can I do that? And you missed.
Stop waving those things around like they're... I don't know. Something weird. He's just like, put your hands in the air like you don't give a care. Just in time. Morphology. Emperor Ing Eye. Unstable Ing Biomass. Central Eye is protected by a potent barrier shield. Shield does not provide complete coverage, however. Oops. There. Oh, dang it. I was hoping for some more splash damage with that. Hmm. Is there any avoiding that? Jeez. I don't want to waste ammo, but maybe it would be helpful to just use light beam on this. Mm. Yeah, let me lock on, please. Thank you. Oh, come on. Nice. No, it's moving faster. That's phase on. This is annoying. It's been a while since I fought this guy. I can't imagine why. All right, well, that was pretty quick. Got him. But of course, that isn't the end. This is only phase one. This isn't even my final form. Behold, as I hibernate. Morphology, Emperor in Chrysalis. Regenerating, <laughs> regenerating in Ruler. Target's regen shell is magnetically charged. 11 weak points have been detected. Hit them with... Target them. Oh, target them with concussive blasts to shatter the regen shell. Okay, then go up. Oh. Can I just nuke this? Oh, do you have to like wait for something or? Yeah, I think I need to wait for them and then. Ah. Uh. They're being annoying. Jeez. Stop sending the frickin' English after me. Keep knocking me off. How did that not kill it? Oh, they come out of those things too? Jeez. Now this is just getting ridiculous. I hate it when they come out of those. Because you have no warning if the ing if the inglets come out. Yeah, they just do. Oh, 
I think you're actually getting more health back. Yeah, than I think he I is. am. There we go. No. It's not over yet. Oh. That eh, don't jump on me. Morphology. Mutated Emperor Ing. Alters ruler of the Ing Horde. Further phase on mutation of the Emperor Ing has occurred. The creature seems to only take damage when its heart is light or dark. Find a way to ch change the heart to one of these colors. So now he actually looks like a mutated form of uh, like a warrior ing. Yeah. With the five legs and all. Stop jumping on me. Or you could just miss. Mm, that it's like peeking or something like that. It's kind of annoying when his leg blocks it though. Yeah. Ah. Oh, is that not enough? All right, there it goes. Whoa. Oh, that was a lot of ammo. Whoa. Dang it. Is that really not hurting him? Just because it didn't actually land on him? Like you think the black hole itself would at least deal damage? There we go. <laughs> it's like, how am I supposed to avoid that? He goes so quickly. Ah, oh, come on. Really? How is it not hitting? There you go. Gee, takes forever just to put the arm cannon back up. Okay, see, now that was avoidable. <laughs> I was really hoping those would actually be worthwhile for this fight, if nothing else. At least the regular super missiles are all right. Back charge. Nope, I'm already gone. <sighs> that looked like it hit. It should have. Always with that timing. And then the leg. And then animation. Oh. There we go. Just 
Just let yourself die. You know you want to be free of your mortal coil. There we go. Nice. No. I am the emperor of the king. What were you translating as moans? Yes. Oh, it's not red anymore. Hmm. Return to your rightful place. I'm gonna just slurp this right up. Refreshing. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. They said that energy was the only thing keeping this place stable. Planetary condition critical. Escape at once. Herber. Let me out. Ah. Like what? The safe station is disabled. Oops. Wait, was that a new scan? Yeah. I must go out of my way to get it, even if it costs time. Where's the platform? There it is. Object analysis complete. Save station is offline. Power overload has decommissioned this unit. Seek another safe station. Ah. I thought I was going to say seek a support technician. But where? Oui. Let's get out of here. Huh? Wait, where's the door? Oh. My door. Ooh. You look oddly familiar. Morphology, Dark Samus, supercharged with Phazon Energy. Targets Phazon Energy, weaponry, and defense systems are at full power. Phazon exposure has rendered Dark Samus invisible to your Dark Visor. Jeez, calm down. Oh, come on. I gotta be that way. Ah, still here. <laughs> nice. I knew what? it. I knew there was an R-Scan somewhere. Huh. Morphology Dark Samus. Unstable Phazon Energy Form. Target can generate shield immune to all forms of attack, except Phazon Energy. Draw in expelled Phazon for use as a weapon. If you say so. Uh, if you could please let me. It wasn't locked on, that's the reason why I couldn't. Hold on, I was distracted by something. 
Sorry. It's... I felt something on my arm. I was like, what is that? Alright, stop with the missiles. There we go. Hmm. Do you like that? I guess so, since I just doing it again. Hey. He's gonna float there. Okay. Float there menacingly. And by menacingly, I mean not menacing at all. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna spit more face on at me. No, I think I'm good. It's like, okay. <laughs> Silver missile stuff. <stuff>. Oh. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get your. Uh, okay, never mind. Back to the invincible bubble. Yeah, that's right. Try it again. I dare you. Are powerless against me. Come on, I really think those uh, little missiles will actually kill me this time. Just give it a try. There you go. You fool. Boom. Dies in phase on. Had enough. Or you want some more? Uh, Why uh, won't you die? I've been a tuner all along. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this place is blowing up. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, that won't work. Oh boy. Hey, I know I just killed your ruler and your entire home, but uh, we can talk about this, right? Oh. Hmm. Convenient. It's that portal we couldn't get to. Open up. I do like how they include that. That she actually has to scan it to activate it. Mm hmm Whee. Going out of the portal with style. Wish we could do that all the time. But let us out. Let us out. Yeah. Like, stop pushing. <laughs> We're not all going to fit through here. This is going to be an extra long episode, but oh well. It is the finale. I see you must let some of his buddies out. Does this mean we have to put the light suit back? Oh, I guess so. We can't even keep the dark suit at least. Well, guess it's back to being normal. Do I get to keep all my power bomb expansions and everything? Of course. Not. <laughs> it's like, yes, of course. Until you crash land on another planet. Well, peace. <laughs> Adios.
And I think this is the bonus ending, which is probably just from the 100% pickup rate. Hmm. So I guess I don't need to go recording on my own to find that final scan thing or any, anything like that. Looks, looks a bit different than like in Brawl and whatnot, but hmm. this was an earlier version. Very much earlier. Off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. So, we killed Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime came back as Dark Samus. We killed Dark Samus. Right? Well, I mean. So, what's going to be next? Like, even if we didn't kill him, he was... Or it was in a dimension that pretty much destabilized, so it's gotta be dead, right? Right. Looks at sequel. Right. <sighs> well, that concludes Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Alright. I suppose soon we should get started on um Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Yes. Took me a moment to remember what it was. Although, if you'd like, we could start you off on... Well, you haven't finished Perimeter, or um, Perimeter, not Prime, <laughs> Defender yet. But I was thinking, at some point, I wanted to start you off on uh, Zero Mission. Really? But I guess we should probably finish up Defender first. All right. So yeah, if, if anyone's actually watching, and if you actually watched through the whole series, thanks for sticking around. It's been fun. Hmm. Anything else to talk about while the credits are going? Um. Hmm. Well, who's going to play Metroid Prime 3? I assume it's going to be you? I guess probably. Because hmm. I want you to do the Game Boy Advanced ones. Okay. The ones on the console I'm not proficient with. Yeah, I, I never was really big into Game Boy. Game Boy Advance? That too. Well, at least I uh, found my uh, Game Boy Advance player for the GameCube, so you can use GameCube controller for it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Otherwise, how would I record it? <laughs> that is true. All right, then I might not be hopeless. It does control a little differently because it's 2D. I imagine. Like, I can tell you ahead of time that uh, I'm pretty sure R, if you hold it, will point you diagonally. And holding L activates, like, it opens up your missile launcher. And then just the regular fire button is to fire missiles while you're holding that. Interesting. So it is a little weird, but... Compared to Prime, where it's just, you know, one button for missiles, one button for firing normally. Yeah. It'll probably take a bit of getting used to. In some other unrelated news, I'm I'm excited that uh, the Game Grumps actually decided to pick up Majora's Mask again, and they're working on that currently. Oh yeah, I need to watch that. Because <laughs> before they got stuck on Gomez, which is like the bat boss... The Bat Swarm boss, I guess, in uh, the Stone Tower Temple. I do not remember that. I It's been so long since I've played or seen anyone play Majora's Mask. But yeah, they finally got past that part. Yeah, the... Well, I think Lev Levigen, Legend of Zelda, usually the first game that comes to mind is uh, Wind Waker, actually. Yeah, for me, it's always Majora's Mask is the one I'm most familiar with. Hmm. Or at least I was the earliest familiar with. I think the episode of Game Grumps that released released today, they're doing that. There's apparently like a really long mission with Anju and Cafe that apparently is really, really complicated. Hmm. And when I, when I used to play Majora's Mask as a kid, I didn't do everything. A lot of it, my eldest sibling helped out with 
with like a, a guidebook because at the time I could barely read or anything. Mm. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I do remember doing some of the puzzles for getting the fierce dating mask, which was absurdly difficult. Really? Yeah. Specifically, uh, trying to get through this one area as Goron Link, where you had to bounce off of chests and go on these very narrow paths without falling off. Bounce off chests? Yeah, you would hit these angled chests, like a 45 degree angle. It would bounce you so you turn 90 degrees. Huh. If you did it perfectly. It was absolutely ridiculously hard. (laughs) Wow. So yeah, percentage complete, 100%. That's pickups. Hard yeah. mode active. So I may I may have missed a few scans, which is kind of annoying me. At some point in the future, I might just play it again solo without commentary and get everything. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just for peace of mind. Yeah, I don't know if I would do anything editing-wise, but eh, maybe. Rough sketch gallery. It only took 10 minutes and 6 seconds. Oh, look, more blueberries. Wait, those aren't blueberries. They're congealing. Like, that's no blueberry. Yes, save. So that is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Thank you so much for playing my game. Dang it, Mario, it's not even your game. Whoops. Oh, well. All right. So, we'll see you next time in whatever whatever series you decide to watch next. Indeed. We'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye-bye.